Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Vine 4! Finally, we're back. Um, sorry for the lack of content, but I had a quite serious cold, which basically disabled my voice for most of the time. So, you know, recording was sporadic and difficult. But we are back! And let's uh, finally get this Swedish war uh, done for. Hopefully as soon as possible. Swedes seem to be counterattacking here. Big mistake, because now we can use that weakened uh, state to hopefully kill these soldiers while they immediately retreat them backwards. But I'm gonna see if I can do the coastal push towards Stockholm. And it seems that uh, the front line is currently in a bad shape for them. And, oh, this is a good sign. It seems they were getting out of materials. So it's time for us to push, 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 and finally get control over the Scandinavian Peninsula and hopefully actually end a war here for once instead of just, you know, adding on to another one. Because that's what we've been doing mostly so far. So I'm fairly happy with the state we're in as a nation. Uh, hopefully we can get some, some satellites out of this, you know, uh, maybe get like a Danish or a Swedish uh, puppet out of it, because I think we deserve it. We have done a lot of work here, and uh, this is a good thing, actually. Let's move over some of our aircraft to, so they can better perform in the region. There we go. Very nice. All right. So I think I have probably another couple of hundred jet fighters. So, uh, yeah, do I have an extra ace left? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's just uh, let them fly whatever for now. Uh, in the area here, in northern Scandinavia. Actually, why don't you pick up southern Scandinavia? You get good control over the area. Um, and they seem to be uh, preferring to fly from a different... Oh, we lost the airport. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, for now, you will uh, get assigned to this army because you are the actual sport here. Um, you know, take that airfield back and they should automatically redeploy. So we're a little bit scattered here. The attack plans are fine. Um, you just have a lot of points, but you actually don't have any unlocked. But okay. You, how far close are you to becoming an infantry leader? Oh, not really anything at all. This is a weird front line, but... Uh, what's the problem here? You cannot cover army. Alright, well... Where'd this thing go? You're still here. Well, why don't you fly over here? No. Okay, well, whatever. We'll let the AI decide this shit. You know, let's uh, assist the attacks. Um, biggest downside to this is that um, we do not sh uh, really project quite well right now. The front line is like really scattered. Okay, how many people are assigned to this? Just one? Well, wow, wow, wow. That's a surprise. This actually is uh, not as bad as this. Hey, oil processing. Let's get this going. Because oil is a problem. It seems that uh, Norway has officially run out of equipment. Um, so, uh, that is pretty good. Um, it's just Sweden now, which is counterattacking fairly successfully, which is uh, not ideal. Also, we somehow lost uh, vision. Okay, let's stop that attack. Doesn't seem to be... Okay, so... We're, we do damage. That's not the problem. The problem is currently whether our defense and breakthrough are not high enough. Hopefully you arrive soon to your location. Uh, it's three days. Oh, well, no, we got Russian assistance, so we might actually win this battle. And the Russians are also pushing for Stockholm, so... That's uh, pretty good to hear. And while pushing is expensive, I think it is time that we put the uh, pressure on a little bit more. So let's keep trying to get that Stockholm attack going. And uh, keep the pressure on the uh, Norwegians, because I think we... Uh... Wow, they have a sick industry. If we can get Sweden... Um, they have actually, for the size that they are, pretty good industries going. So if we can get this thing going, you know, we might uh, actually have this in the bag. United States, the most common term. Well, that's so far so good. Okay, um, stop it. We've got a counterattack here. So I'm not surprised that Sweden has got some forces there. Uh, how is our coup going? 
It's only halfway there. 30th of January. Nah, that's about six months from here. Got a summary modern light tanks. And we can get our modern light tanks. If they, well, they are ahead of time. And I don't think we'll ever get much further than those. So, uh, right. Let's uh, start designing a uh, proper division then. Um, might be these that I do the trick. No, okay, whatever. We have army experience. So we'll get some mechanized. Actually, let's just uh, exchange this. Um, mechanized. Mm. No, not motorized. Mechanized. Nope, I keep doing this wrong. Uh, mechanized. Might actually do a little bit more armor in this. And logistics. Support this. Uh, recon, and then there will be a maintenance company joining them as well. They will be high priority divisions. And I want a different icon for them because I will treat them as mechanized units. Safe, and then we just need to get some other research going. I don't know how he lost. Um... So how much? How much is here? Four divisions. That's not going to be enough for a one guy take out okay probably defense is also fairly high not nah, just one bunker all right and process process is being made here pretty good so sweden is now losing territory rapidly which is pretty great uh, i want you to just uh hey how many of them are actually moving that is interesting uh, i don't mind them taking this province because everything that leaves stockholm is you know weakening in it so um, so we're gonna wait for that to leave. I don't know how I lost Intel though. It's probably the Russians are not providing enough. And Stockholm just emptied. That's pretty great. And uh, we just took Stockholm. There we go. And no, you're sticking here, buddy. Well, Stockholm got cut off. It does have a harbor, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, let's see. Sweden, how far towards capitulation are you? I only carry in the Finnish... Yeah, Soviet and Norwegian War. Sweden is close, but I think we need to capture actually Malmo as well. Um, it looks like the Swedes are uh, collapsing fast, so let's uh, not worry about it too much. Um, ooh. Yeah, that's not... We're still not really 100% in control, but... It's getting better with every single day. And, you know, we're taking away some of their... Um, production... Of, uh, capabilities, which is pretty good, so... Okay, let's... Uh, destroy these troops. I'll... Uh, manage this attack manually and if they need help they can get assistance there we go a couple of researchers need it um, I'll pick up the support companies that we want the uh, maintenance companies there we go all right there we go okay and Success is to be had here. Wiping out them further. Got this going. You can actually go over here. Um, get better mechanized. And I think I want to start production on the light tanks. Or at least get the lines ready and mechanized. So, let's say... About five or two of them. And then... The other one is to be another three. Something like this, I think, we'll do initially. Um, let's see. We're good on most of them. We should, yeah, we don't have the factories really to run that right now, but I think we'll have it soon-ish. Do you have any military factory space? Yeah, but I wanted to keep some room for the uh, nuclear reactors. So that is something that we need to keep an eye on. Um... Yeah, yeah. 
It's just one spot for every bit here. Armored side scourge, jet tactical bombers, nice. Slagged armor side skirts. Um, well, tanks and armored variants, so we can get that one going as well. I think um, for air, this is about as far as we can get. Yep. Okay, so let's get an armored preparation. Now it is really expensive to run armor, but I think we can uh, we can uh, can do this. Uh, Sweden is uh, losing territory. We are gaining territory rapidly. Good. Uh, I wish you could just part march into Momo. But this point might be enough. It's one point. Nah, that's not gonna be enough. Ten points. Let's talk about Lund. Uh, that's the entire province, by the way. I don't know which province. Good book, of course. I've actually been there. Um, I've been. Uh, yeah, I've, I've traveled through this part of uh, Sweden here. Uh, we uh, went on holiday, and we. Had, uh, I've been holiday in Norway a couple of times, and normally we take the boat from Friedrichshaven to Oslo. And then we travel around this area here. We had friends living there. And uh, one time we decided to go by car. So we went around here by the bridge and then uh, all the way up the coast into uh, central uh, Norway, which is beautiful. All right, so uh, you can get into Malmo, which is uh, five points only, but hopefully we'll do the trick a little bit better. Why don't you uh, do this? Let's see. Okay, so you lost the attack there. Well, that's surprising, to be honest. Let's just keep going. Uh, hopefully we can get this done. I don't know. It's just horses, you know. I mean, the five points has got to be fairly, uh, fairly large hit. So let's just uh, keep these guys on, you know, focusing. Cut off whatever we have got to cut off. Except for you, you can stay here. You're just going to clean this pocket up. And hopefully we'll soon have Swedish capitulation. There we go. Awesome sauce. Right, that changes the entire front. There we go. This will do. Uh, let's get Berlin in there. Go. All right. So that's just um, yeah, just uh, last bits here. Of Denmark, that can be done by this one guy. Got our slat armor side skirts. Um, I can take this one still. And improve oil processing. Good. Why don't you go to Oslo? And uh, I think with Oslo out of the way, uh, that would will probably kick Norway out. Because um, that's like one of the few points of victory points that they have, except for that in here. It's only one point, so... Hmm. We have to see how that goes. Hey, what happened? One of my guys just stopped there. Get over there, buddy. Still go there, actually, if you don't mind. Alright. Um, my guys are uh, successfully assaulting... The city of Oslo and taking it actually. And uh, let's see, is this enough? Uh, not yet actually. So, yeah. well, go good for them. I want these two to be assigned over here as well. That's your orders. Go. But with 3%, I don't think we actually need to get, take better. And just any territory that we can now take is um, going to be uh, close enough. Norway capitulated. That's the end of the war. Right. Um, Republic of Sweden. I have not enough points, but I could puppet them. And... I think I'll start with that. A puppet in Sweden. Um, and let's end the turn. There we go. So, as a puppet of Sweden, we can take their territory really cheap. Um, there we go. Puppet of Sweden. All right. Then it's Denmark. Let's puppet them. I guess the entire team Denmark, and we still got the Republic of Albania. Right. Uh, we'll puppet them as well. Done. Right, we got a couple of puppets. 
Because I don't really want the territory over there. I just, uh, you know, puppets will do. Arabic Empire joined the Pact of Rome. We are at war with the Pact of Rome, so this is actually a new front that's going to open up. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. We, uh... We won a war. Like, it's the first one we've won, and that's uh, good, to be honest. Oh, wow, Brits. This, is, however, is going to be a bit of a tricky um, situation, because... Uh, I, I, I'm not afraid of Swedish territory, because I think they don't have, kind of pass here, but the Danes need some protection. Um, so we're going to do that. Yes. Um, no, we're actually going to decline their entry into the war, because that should keep them... Oh, never mind. They already are in the war, so... Your, your call to arms is fine. Italian Soviet War. And we'll call Denmark then as well. You're already in that war. Albania just got conquered immediately. <laughs> Not a surprise. But this opens the German route into the Hellenic Republic. So that's not, not the worst deal. Um, seems that Africa is ours. As far as you know, we can, we can get it. Um, where's the other guy? Uh, you're here because... Okay, you don't really want to be there. Um, okay, join us for a second and see what's going on. Right, a lot is going on. Modify the government. Um, well, we have tanks, so might as well get a tank designer running. How much factories did I gain? Uh, very little, actually. I can, uh, surprisingly little factories I got from uh, getting these guys under my boots. Let's see, manage subjects. Because they integrated, I need to get integrated puppets going. So from construction engineering to suppressing subjects. All right. Um, we're gonna start a land lease against towards them two and this is a maximum of 36 doesn't say anymore and we'll send about 200 of these there we go about 140 points and then we don't have any towed artillery we don't have any of that we can get the anti-tank guns just gonna send over equipment that I don't use there we go. Um, Total artillery because I don't produce it. So once I need to figure out how much this is, I wish you could just you know s <sighs> wave selecting like here. Let's say like everything. Like a shift select is like sending over everything. I don't know if that that would be actually fairly nice. If that would be the case, twenty five. We need to do it actually exactly, otherwise it's going to start bitching, like, hey, you cannot send this, so what the hell's going on? Yeah, because you promised these guns, or whatever you're sending. So, yeah, uh, we're going to send this all back to Sweden. This is, I don't know where this came from. Some Soviet nation, one. Oh, 36. Um, one, six, seven. Uh, 391 35,000 It's actually not a lot what we're gaining here 116 704 it seems like we're not getting any points for sending them a foreign equipment or something 464 that's weird why the hell would that be 19 Two five nine. Ugh, that's not enough. Twenty one and forty eight. Send. Let's start with that, and then that leads to Denmark. For let's see, a we kind of set a percentage once. I'll send about... how many do I have? Well, you know, that's, that's 37,000 trucks. And... Do I have 37,000? Yeah, I do. Uh, we'll send uh, about... Uh, 
10,000 guns, and about a thousand rocket artillery. There we go. That should do a trick. Get them going. Alright, so I think our trucks and everything will be about as, almost as armored as they can get. Um, right. This is all done. This is all done. This is all fine. We don't. We're still not in the fleet business. So let's get this one going. <clears throat> right. Germany will never get us. This, uh, oh, we give military access if we want to. Hmm. I still don't think I can actually attack from uh, German soil, though. But I can do a little trick, I believe. Um, just naval... Ah, fuck, we don't have any fleets, so... Let's see what happens. I don't think I can attack from uh, German soil. And I don't have uh, naval control in the area, so that's not a possibility, I think, to do a sneaky naval invasion. Yeah, because they're not at war, I cannot attack from that territory. Okay, so that's not a... British Malaysia capitulated. Republic of Indonesia, non-aligned movement, that's fine. That's all fine, but at least it's, we're no longer at war with this guy He's here. They actually like us. My trade partners. Ooh. And we have another Russian back, which is also good. Right, uh, yeah. Only 15 according to this, so that's... Uh, where the fuck is the rest of them? Um, what? Where do I need these guys? I don't really, we're not really fighting anywhere right now. Uh, Japan is a big threat eventually, but it's not really a threat right now. Um, oh, we've got this back again. Good. Good troop station there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this, I guess. Alright, this allows us to uh, oop, launch uh, aerial attacks against Britain if we want to. Uh, which, apparently, we have the room for, so let's uh, get you guys over here. And uh, start prepping that. So, let's get a fighter wing from here. Yep, remove it over here. Get this guy over here and let's power drop you two from when the uh, thing arrives from here into this uh, yeah let's try it there it's unlikely to be defended I want to be trained up before they go this unit to be assigned there this one will be ready 14th of October that's pretty doable Maintenance companies are ready. Um, adjust the these guys with maintenance companies. There we go. Safe. Right. Better mechanized equipment. Yep. Right. Once we start producing them, so well, not yet. Advanced oil processing. Do I have like? No, it's still ahead of time. Let's get the rubber upgrades done as well in that case. Alright, last guy is in, so that's three, and I don't think we can do much more. No, because we're at the limit. Um, speaking of which... That's ahead of time. Uh, that's ahead of time. Okay, that's a long ahead of time as well, so not really worthwhile. Sweden and Norway join the Social Union. Uh, but are you still puppeted underneath me? Yes. Cool. I just gained a even bigger puppet. Nice. Nice. That's really good. That's really good. So, uh, am I still? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> So, let's see, what is the uh, faction management looking right now? Danish Civil Union is losing good points, you're losing good points. Great, yeah, pretty good. We need a factory camo. Well, let's keep going, actually. Uh, 
These guys are traveling from far and wide. Now let's take a look at the uh, naval situation here. Enemy ships present. So they do have... Oh, wow. Occasionally we have enough control here. Do the Russians actually have a fleet? 26. Uh, no, that's wrong. 27. 2, 1, 10. Germany fucked their fleet up. Wait, nobody has a fleet. What the hell happened? Oh, America has a fleet, but it seems that the British fleet is gone. <clears throat> well, I don't have the naval production to do anything with that information. Where am I building forts, by the way? Oh, right, I was fortifying the uh, Japanese possible front line. Right. Because I have nothing better to do. You know what? This might actually be an upgrade worthwhile. Mm, these as well. Start with the harbors, though. Who's this? Justification against us? The United Kingdom? Huh, really? It's not that we're already at war with the bastards. Okay, so you're training and you're still trying to get there. Well, let's get these guys trained up. Uh, war bonds. Don't really need that. It's not really anything that I need, to be honest. We're, we're doing pretty great. And with that, I'm actually going to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.